Okay, so surgery went well. I'm at the recovery area. Um, baby has been taken to the nursery. She is so pretty. She has hair. What? I just thank God. I am so grateful. So, so grateful. Now we go magic. Drip is on and all that. So we're waiting for the drugs to wear out. And then I yangu. So I guess that's where I'm going to just stay until um, until 12 or 6 hours are over. I don't know. Then I'll be asked to wake up and just go to the toilet. So yeah, let's see how this goes down. Otherwise, I am happy, excited, and ready to start recovering because I have to. I really have to be strong through this process. At least I have been through it. So I kind of know what will go down. But again, it takes work and a positive attitude to get through it. I was taken to the ward after 30 minutes and that is when the drugs started to wear off my people, my friends. If you've given birth, you know what I'm talking about. Your body dim to Huskia. I was shaking. Why I could not move a muscle. Of course I couldn't move a muscle. I was still numb from my stomach going down. And my boyfriend was around throughout this whole process so he helped me in terms of repositioning my feet just uh, covering me up he did a good job and also the hospital provided me with hot water bottles that helped to keep me warm i had to place one on my back otherwise sing survive hey guys it is now a few hours after after surgery and guess who is here so yeah it's 12 so you can miss my time it's 12 sijiski kulala or rather siwezi lala or rather nashindwa sijui but the pain has started kicking in around the scar but they're doing a good job of uh, giving me pain meds so at least it's manageable kila sijafaya ni sijam kakutoka kwa bed kutembea i know that will be a task so it is 12:47 special card time in enda pole pole ama ni mimi nasikia nja cuz from yesterday at 12 when I last talked to you guys, I haven't had anything to eat or drink. So the only thing that's keeping me going is this water. So it's a drip, your drip of water and your two, it's keeping me going. At least the pain meds is in an idea, but I dread waking up out of this bed and I have to, I have to. That's one thing I am, That's one hard thing that I have to do. Na lazima ni amke tunutembe. Then the other thing, wameleta e post tena. Needle by mouth, meaning at our kiss of food, I cannot get any until, I guess in like an hour and a half, Siju will enter survive. Plus my sister has gone, so I'm waiting for my mom to be here. And... I really want to see my baby again, again. Eish. Uh, <laughs> God is good all the time. Naskia poa. Yeah, so the hardest thing I ever had to do after CS, Nimi Fire. Waking up and going to the toilet. Nandio Nimi Rudy. Kiona vile Nimi Kana di support. Achuma. It's painful. But positivity all the way through mpaka to pony and my mom is here my mama is here Hey, so what <laughs> do 
they've removed the nail by mouth so saini oral sips of water na zinanifanya ni in the washroom like the first time i've woken up i've stood up to go to the washroom that was the hardest part about c section and i've pulled it through in fact nimeenda chao mara mbili i'm so proud of myself and so say mom i'm in let her soup i'm taking either soup or water nasikia vizuri but still i'm in pain so i'm um, just pushing myself to get through this pain this part of this pain ndio by kesho i will be able to just walk nitembe vizuri ama ta biology uni cuz i need to do this so that by the time i'm leaving the hospital nitakuwa na nguvu and recovery will be quick cuz that is my aim so right now na tukatuni try kulala it is around 4 from asubuhi sijaweza kulala so let's see if now i'll be able to sleep before any other visitor comes in so yeah tonge baadaye so this is the third time that i'm visiting the washrooms and this is the first time i'm doing that alone and i guess i did a very nice job considering the pain that i was feeling I can't compare it to the first time of course but I really pushed myself. I really really pushed myself. It's slow but sure the progress we will make it. Wow. You know this feeling is like walking. You can only feel your legs and the upper part of your body but you can't really feel the middle part hapo ndio unajua everything you do like every movement you do is connected to the abdominal muscles gosh if anyone is planning to go for a c section this is where i'm telling you be positive be strong you will make it if i did make it you will also make it Thank you. Gosh. A lot of curious yes is a walk in the park it's not. So, at under the face he said I've just been giving he gave me. I've just been given medicine uh oral ones. I think that one is for constipation then in gine through here. Then the other one inside my butt and it gets awkward and more awkward this is the ghetto giving birth is the ghetto if you didn't know hmm nimeambia nas ni jiweke cuz of course i'm bleeding then she's like uh uh wacha tunieke gosh but plus such people as in wala wanafanya kazi kama he with all their hearts not minding the disgusting bits of it god bless her she's a good one as in so far the treatment happened me kwa poa sana i'm just so blessed first meal of the day the very first meal of the day ana kamchele bila kanatosha na gosh tutatoboa tu si ndio So, food Dimitra. <laughs> Gosh. 
gosh it was such a small portion but i'm ready to follow the rules and just get my bowel movements going and i'm going serious i'm going serious mataka kujifanya hamja notice are you going to ignore the fact that my stomach is still big as in it happens when you give birth your belly does not like shrink back to its original size it's still big so i still look very pregnant i just some of the money pia kusimama ni shida shida I put you guys over here. Can you guys see? Oh. Can you guys see? <laughs> I look like I'm 7 months pregnant at this point Ooh. then it feels hollow as in kuna feel ni kama kuna shimo inside nona hey so uh, i'm going to see my baby sijamuona kutoka tu wachani so let me go see her and see kama anaweza ka breastfeed in other news okay let's pray for our kids no nizi ni sizimanza kutokea tu it's so depressing it is so so sad i don't know what kind of desperacy this is at him at him to anawa watu just for the organs this is so sad we need to pray pray for our kids so i've seen my baby kavivi kana kavizuri she is pretty i mean aish nimetoa kitu kitu moja safi ana ka vizuri sana but you guys are not going to see her today <laughs> what hey, the pain so something else about c section is there's that place that they apo kwa wound so wana shona but the point where they put the knot up on your chungu you kwa mostly and for this time round it's on the left side of my leg na hiyo ndio uchungu when it attacks you you just need to stand or just sit you can't continue walking now i guess hiyo ndio nafanya nasikia uchungu zaidi as much as i'm trying to make progress by just talking around i have to slow down mwili kisema z there's nothing else you can do so I can to leave but first let me get a remote cuz I'm over here alone in operate e system ow in okay no i know how to cuz that is easy for you guys if you see me happy joana kula <laughs> So I'm having tea, chocolate tea, and in my little are some breastfeeding cookies, lactation cookies. Ones that are this ones from Liquid Gold, and they are in the coconut flavor. They are so nice. You can check out Liquid Gold on Instagram. They deal with everything lactation, from the teas to the cookies to granola, as in. Like to you need for lactation check them out on instagram so yes and it is around 9 no it's going to 10 so this is the last meal then kesho ntanza kukula food food but in small portions so the other thing about this section is you have to go for a long call at least before you leave so if i accomplish that then my bowel movement is okay and that is my intention so i have lots of fluids to take 
and Nikki accomplish here, then I can conquer the world. As in, I'm happy with the progress that I've made, considering today is day one. As in, you did well, June, Naskia Poa. So, basically, that's what happens after you go for a surgery. And at least Usiku, they are not giving me any medicine. So, I've had the last one until Kesho Asubui at six. What's your pain tolerance in terms of how much can you? How much pain can you withstand? Like rate yourself from one, between one and ten. I've taken pain that I could not the first time. The first time when I was asked to get out of bed and just go to the washroom, I cried. Like that pain was, I could not stand that pain. Nearly Leah. And by the time I got to the washroom, it was so hard. To even come back sit and get myself to lie on the bed it was so so hard but i guess i have improved i think the experience what do you guys think and also tell me what your pain tolerance is between one and ten young only seven what's yours comment up a comment section thank you so much for watching and if you're watching be like subscribe <laughs> subscribe for it's free of charge to subscribe to any youtube channel also share this video and if you love the content give this video a big thumbs up and until next time guys remember to hydrate it's good for your skin good for your hair good for your body and your breastfeeding child <laughs> we moved from growing baby so so you talk about breastfeeding yes guys so quite hairy good night Mwah.